Hello, I'm Mark from Hillside Tractors Australia and I just want to introduce you to the range of Carraro tractors. Uh, these, um, these are all 70 to 100 horsepower tractors and also the 87 horsepower hydrostatic. Uh, so they're all physically the same size. They're incredible machines. But I particularly want to introduce you to this tractor because this is the same tractor. This is the uh, 87 horsepower hydrostatic that we've enhanced uh, with our features and I just want to explain those to you today. You'll see underneath we've got belly plates here to protect delicate features, parts of the tractor underneath. If you come around this side, up this end you'll see uh, guards there to protect filters. There's a hydraulic filter in there, protect it underneath. Also the sump plate, it's a little bit hard to see on this tractor because it's got the optional engine end linkage, but normally this and this isn't here, but see that sump plate there? That's a 12 mil plate, means you can park it on a uh, rock and not damage the sump. So it's all very robust underneath. Of course the bull bar, which is a Carraro option, which uh, in our opinion should be standard. But um, so if you continue to walk around there, uh, we also fit these handles on this end. This is a genuine Carraro part, which they supply on this end. We just fit them also on this end because we're always using the tractor facing the this this way, and we just find that's a very handy feature to get in and out. Um, also, sitting in the tractor, you've got the the armrest mounted joystick, which is a Carraro option, and that also has the, the added bonus that stops you sliding off your seat in this direction. Uh, however, there's nothing as standard that stops you coming off this way, so we provide that as an option. You can adjust the, the armrest and the, the seat extension in and out to, to suit your size, uh, but it just keeps you very comfortable when you're working on extreme slopes. Uh, if you look around the rest of the tractor, you notice, particularly in this area here, it's very different. Uh, we've fitted our own load share system. Carraro do offer a load share system. We believe ours is a lot better than theirs. There's a few extra features. The main reason we change is because we've also added uh, double acting cylinders. If you look in here, the lift cylinders, um, they've got oil on the top side to give it down pressure. So you can push the linkage arms down and actually lift the tractor in the air. Now that's a feature that you don't want or need with when operating a mulcher like this one. But if you're operating a um, something like our Agilator bucket, which you'll see just over here if you want to pan around, you'll see our Agilator bucket. If you're using an implement like that, you'll find um, the down pressure is almost essential. It's handy also for a whole host of other implements, you know, a ripper tine, grader blade, post hole digger, the, the list goes on. There's quite a few implements that, that benefit from the down pressure. Uh, it's also very convenient because how often do you find yourself hopping off the tractor and standing on the linkage arms to get them to go down? Uh, well, you don't have to do that when you've got down pressure, you just hit the button and down it goes. So it makes changing implements, disconnecting very easy. We've got the hydraulic levelling block, which is a Carraro option. Uh, we enhance that with a flow restrictor so it doesn't move too fast. Uh, we also do mods down there in that area to give you a greater lift range so that the, the arms go lower to the ground because that can be a problem with the bigger tyres, that the whole tractor is higher off the ground, so therefore the arms don't go low enough. So uh, we make the arms go lower to the ground, but also lift higher with some changes that we do. So you'll notice the way our quick couplers are positioned up here. Uh, they're centre mounted instead of over to the side where Carraro mount them. We also use self-releasing, so you just pull them and out they come and just push them and in they go. And we just find that centre mounted like that, uh, if they're one side and they've got a reach to the other side of the implement, then you can get problems with hoses getting tangled, whereas um, they can be from this side or this side, they reach to the centre, and if they're in the centre like here, it makes it very neat. 
Uh, also, we've got um, a different latch mechanism for the top link. So that the hydraulic top link, uh, which uh, we provide to suit the implement, but it it um, that just latches up there nice and, and solidly and can't fall down. So um, we believe that's a lot better. We have that cut out there just to provide better visibility down to the back of the implement. Uh, we've got the, uh, the LED work light. You've all seen those, of course, but anyway, it's just a nicer light, nice, smooth, widespread light. The switch for it, we mount there. We've also got a switch there which turns power on and off to the merit socket. So you've got a power source there if you're running a pump or a uh, flashing light or whatever and you can easily reach that from the operator's console. Carraro do provide a switch mounted about here to raise and lower the linkage from here when you're hooking up an implement. Makes it uh, a lot easier. But so we've also got that, that switch there is for the linkage up and down, but this switch here also is for the top link in and out. So um, that's um, almost essential if you've got a hydraulic top link because you can't reach the joystick and do this to connect your implement. That makes hooking up a breeze. The load chair suspension system that we fit, um, like I said, Carraro do offer a load chair system which works uh, probably quite well, but we believe ours is a lot better uh, because you've got a smoother transition from load chair to suspension mode. It's just pushing the lever. You've also can, you've got three positions. You've got load chair position, you've got suspension position, which are so just for traveling, and that allows um, you know the implement just to, to um, ride smoothly while you're traveling. And our system gives you a lot bigger carrying capacity with suspension. Uh, it'll carry whatever the tractor's capable of lifting, it will carry in suspension mode, give you a smooth ride. Uh, also, you flick it forward here, um, and then you've got down pressure, and uh, yeah, that turns off the, the, the accumulator, so you don't have load chair and suspension anymore. You've got a solid ride, and you've got down pressure, so you'd use that when you're disconnecting implements or with the adulator. So you've got your three positions there, very easy to change. We've also add the variable flow rate for the hydraulics, uh, because with this on-off joystick, you've got a, a slow speed, and sometimes that's too slow, and then you've got a fast speed, and sometimes that's too fast, whereas this, that's full speed, and that slows it right down to nothing. And so you've got infinitely variable in anywhere in between that range and uh, we mount the gauge in the same position Carraro do for the for the load chair suspension. I just want to explain uh, the load chair system on the Carraro tractor. Uh, the whole idea of it is that you've got equal wheels, front and rear axle, and you've got the weight of the engine hanging out this end, putting plenty of weight over this axle. The tractor on itself hasn't got a lot of weight in this end and that's intentional so that when you pick up an implement then the tractor becomes well balanced. So the implement is the counterbalance for the engine and vice versa. So obviously it depends on the weight of the implement but based on an average size implement it becomes a very well balanced machine. The trouble with a mulcher is that it's got this roller down here and it wants to sit on the ground so it can follow the contours and give you a precise cut height. And for it to sit on the ground, you've got to float the linkage and therefore all the weight is sitting on the metal roller and you haven't got any of the weight of the implement <coughs> back on this axle. So when you go to turn, uh, this axle just hasn't got enough traction. You can see the wheels uh, churning up the grass and you'll notice the turning circle isn't very tight. If you're on a steep slope, you'll be going straight and you're aiming in this direction but the tractor will be have it have a crabbing effect and it'll travel like this you know like a, like an aeroplane in a crosswind uh, because of the, the lack of traction on this axle so the old-fashioned mentality with conventional tractors is if you need more traction you add more weight 
we don't want more weight because we're going up 35 degree slopes sometimes and the less weight the better in that situation so what we want to do is increase traction without adding weight so the way we do that is we're removing the weight off this roller and we're transferring that weight back onto these wheels so the, the load share system um, uh, does that for us and the way it does it is um, if I can give you an example uh, with the pressure it let's say it takes a thousand psi just hypothetically to lift this implement in the air we will charge the uh, lift cylinders or the and the accumulator to about 800 psi uh, so that it's not enough to lift the implement off the ground but it's enough that it's taking the majority of the weight. The arms are trying to lift the mulcher, um, but the mulcher is still sitting lightly on the ground. If we had a set of scales under this roller, like this machine weighs probably 600 kilograms, uh, and if we had a set of scales on there, we'd turn the load chair on, and we can reduce that back to probably 100 kilograms, you know, 150, 100. We can, we can adjust it with whatever pressure we put in the load chair. So if we've reduced this weight by let's say we've reduced it by 400 or 450 kilograms where is the weight gone it's gone from here back on to here so we've increased our weight uh, increased our traction but we haven't increased our weight but it's not just an increase in traction it's also a decrease in the effective weight of this mulcher so when we go to turn not only are these wheels got more traction but this roller has got less traction and I just don't mean a little bit less I mean dramatically less you know so um, it makes a massive difference to the turning circle and the way it handles so I just want to start this up now and uh, um, turn the load share on and off and you'll be able to see if you it might be a bit hard on the video but in real life you can see it very clearly you can see the bulge in the tire as we turn the load share on you can also see or feel if if you put your hand on the bull bar, when we turn the load chair on, you feel the tractor move. You know, as the weight is placed on that end, obviously it, it lifts this end a little bit. And uh, as we turn the load chair off, this end will, will drop, you know. It's, it's very noticeable when you're here. It's, not, it's going to be very hard for you to see in the video, but if you, uh, if you want to come and visit us we can demonstrate for you and you can experience it for yourself but the the other big thing that makes really makes the difference or really will convince you is a demonstration if I if I do a u-turn without the load share it'll be quite a big turn it'll chew up the grass we turn the load share on and it'll turn a lot tighter and of course the wheels don't slip and, and chew up the grass either so uh, that's the difference it makes so the load share is activated on this tractor at the moment. If you look here, I don't, I don't know how clear it'll show up in the video, but in real life there's quite a, a noticeable bulge in that tyre just there because the load share is turned on and it's putting weight on this tyre. So uh, while you're recording that, I want you to watch this bulge and I'm going to turn the load share off. Are you ready? On three. One, two, three. There you go. There's the load share turned off. Now watch, keep watching and I'm going to turn it back on again. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, so now I just want to measure this end, the height off the ground. Now look, we'll just go to that little point there, it's a, an easy point, if you just come in close here, we can see now to the bottom of that piece of rubber, it's a little bit over 1010, probably 1011. Okay, now we'll turn, which the load share is on at the moment, so now we're about to turn it off. On three, one, two, three. Okay, so that's gone down to uh, 890, maybe 891. So that's about 20 mil that moved um, with that transfer of weight. You can turn it back on again, Jake, on three. One, two, three. It hasn't quite gone back to the same spot because every time I do that, I lose a little bit of pressure. Um, but while in normal operation, you don't lose any pressure. Once you set it, it stays there.